Guys, I promise if you make these for a party, <laughs> they're gonna be a hit because I made them for my daughter's birthday party and they was gone like the wind. Oh my God, these are so fire and they're easy to make. Well, to me. <laughs> hopefully they're just as easy to make for you but anyways let me show you guys how to make it okay these are called bionono's i don't know who came up with the name but the technique is genius it's like a pastelon which is a puerto rican lasagna but in the form of a cupcake so they're just so much more easier to make and eat <laughs> so what you'll do is you'll grab a sweet plantain okay and you'll cut it vertically and then you're gonna fry it two to three minutes on each side okay then you can put some butter on your cupcake pan and look how they just perfectly fit inside the cupcake pan like how the fuck you're gonna grab some egg and you're gonna put it at the bottom the egg is gonna act like the glue it's gonna hold everything together okay now i'm using ground turkey you could use ground beef and then i'm using shredded mozzarella you could use i don't know pepper jack if you want or some other freaking cheese whatever but it's gonna be egg meat cheese meat and then you're gonna put some more egg at the top i put it in the oven at 350 for 15 minutes took it out put some more cheese on top because why not and then i cooked it for another like seven minutes until it was pretty much golden brown but y'all put a little bit of chives on top and you've got yourself an old herb okay these are cute oh my, you gotta make them all right y'all so let me put y'all on so today we are making some rotel dip so right here i'm gonna cook and season my meat because you already know i like my shit all the way the fuck season then we're gonna add our onions our rotel tomatoes our cream cheese our Velveeta cheese and then some more motherfucking cheese because you already know a bitch like a lot of motherfucking cheese and then we're gonna bake it until the cheese is melted then take it out and then mix it and let me tell you something bitch that shit was fire Let's make one of the easiest and tastiest dinners ever, tacos dorados con papa. These are fried hard tacos stuffed with mashed potatoes and queso fresco. These are leftover mashed potatoes. I crumbled in some queso fresco, steamed some corn tortillas in the microwave for 30 seconds, wrapped in paper towels, fill them up with mashed potatoes, fry them for about two minutes per side or until nice and golden brown. Top them with your favorite salsa, shredded lettuce, crema, and you have dinner. Enjoy. This salad is the reason I married my husband. I wish I was joking, but I'm not. It's really that good. And you're going to use this as a chance to practice your chopping skills. So take your time and relax. First, start with the cucumber, then move to the red onion. Make yeah. it as small as you possibly can. Use a tomato knife when you're chopping tomatoes. I promise it's going to make it so much easier. I also like to add black olives. You don't have to. They're Kalamata olives, actually. And the dressing is the juice of two lemons, olive oil, and salt. We finish this off in literally a minute. Look at that chop. Growing up, my mom refused to buy pasta sauce from the store because she believed homemade is healthier. So I'm going to show you her 15-minute creamy mm. rigatoni recipe. Boil your pasta and in a separate pan, combine garlic, chili flakes, onions, and your two main herbs, oregano and rosemary. Next, as shown on the screen, add in crushed tomatoes, a spoon of sugar, milk, top it off with mozzarella and pasta water. It's so easy, and that's why. Honestly, if it takes longer than about 30 minutes to cook on a weeknight, I'm probably not making it. That's why I came up with recipes like this. You're going to season a few chicken breasts with whatever you like, then drizzle some olive oil in a pan and brown the chicken on both sides. Once it's brown, you're going to set it off to the side and then throw in like a half a stick of butter, however much garlic your heart tells you to throw in there, and about a cup of chicken broth. Mix that all around and scrape the little chicken bits off the bottom of your pan with your spoon. Then you're going to add a couple tablespoons of flour, whisk it up, and then add some heavy cream. I don't know, like maybe a half a cup or so? We kind of measure with our hearts around here. <laughs> Give it another whisk and then add some Italian seasoning, salt, and pepper. Then you're going to throw your chicken back into the pan and bake it in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes. I like to serve it with 90-second microwave rice, but you do you. Enjoy! The other day, somebody left me a comment asking why my recipes are so unhealthy if I studied nutrition. The answer is pretty simple. Eating yummy food makes me happy. And honestly, seeing how 2020 has been going, I don't know how much time we have left. I'm really not trying to make this year any worse by eating rabbit food, and you shouldn't either. So come to Food TikTok and we'll cook all these delicious dishes together.